now we are going to uh, see the experiment on digital to analog converter okay so in the digital to analog converter you know different methods of conversions okay uh, from the digital input we are going to obtain the analog input by using different methods okay uh, now we are going to use the r to r ladder method okay this r to r ladder is inbuilt in this uh, digital to analog converter kit itself okay now you look at the uh, pins in the kit okay here you have a p1 pin uh, which is having only one pin so this is considered as a common ground and we have four positive pins okay of different ranges okay i am choosing the maximum range value okay so now i am going to see the output across the uh, pin 5 and pin 1 so this voltage is considered as the reference voltage i am going to view this voltage in the multimeter which is connected across the pins 5 and 1 okay so the uh, reference voltage is nothing but 4.26 volts okay so initially i am keeping all the uh, lsb and the msb switches in the off condition and i have measured the reference voltage as 4.26 okay later on i am going to measure the analog output for this okay so here also we have the negative pin on the upper side and the positive pin on the lower side so i am measuring the analog output the analog output is nothing but 4.63 volts okay now i am uh, taking the readings and noting in the tabular column okay so the v reference voltage is nothing but exactly 4.33 volts okay and the analog output voltage is 4.63 volt for this all the uh, switches or all the bit positions are zeros only okay so since i have considered the eight switches in the zero position that is the zero position is downward position okay so in the kit itself it has marked it is marked as low okay in the way downward direction and marked high in the upward direction okay now i am going to vary the position of the switches so that when it is brought to the one position the corresponding leds will be glowing in the kit okay so this is the high position so high position is in the upward position of the switch okay now the corresponding led is in that position will glow okay i have chosen the second reading as 101010 so alternately i have switched on the lsb switches okay now i have measured the output voltage so the output voltage is exactly one, minus 1.54 volts okay now i am uh, changing the position of the switches okay okay now you look at the position of the switches now i have brought 0110010 okay so i have kept the first switch in the downward position and second the high position so the leds will be glowing and the next two, two switches in the low position so the bulb will not glow Uh, and the next two switches will be in the high position in the upward direction so the led bulb will glow and the last switch is in the downward position so the led bulb will not glow okay so this position is 0110110 now for this i am measuring the output voltage the output voltage measured is nothing but 0.91 which i have tabulated in my tabular column okay so likewise we can randomly vary the position of the switches and we can measure some 6 to 7 readings like this okay now you look at the kit again i am varying the position of the switches okay now the new position applied is 11001100 and for this position i have measured the output voltage as minus 2.4 9 okay and similarly for the next position so next i have varied the position as 10101001 okay and for this i have measured the output voltage as 1.51 okay similarly we have to apply the voltages and we have to vary the switch positions okay now the sixth reading i am going to take is 10111101 and for this the output voltage measured is nothing but minus 2.21 okay and the seventh position is 11 
ஜீரோ ஒன் ஜீரோ ஜீரோ ஒன் அந்த அவுட்புட் வோல்டேஜ் மெஷர்டு இஸ் மைனஸ் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் த்ரீ ஓகே நவ் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் செவன் ரீடிங்ஸ் ஓகே நவ் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த அனலாக் அவுட்புட் வோல்டேஜஸ் விச் இஸ் மெஷர்டு அக்ராஸ் த அவுட்புட் பின்ஸ் விச் இஸ் கனெக்டட் இன் த பி டூ P2 potential meter mode. So the top position is negative position and the bottom position is positive. Across this I am connecting a multimeter and for different position of the switches I am going to measure the uh, analog output voltages. This is a practical analog output voltage. Now you know the formula for calculating the analog output voltage in the R to R ladder network. So using that you have to calculate the theoretical value of analog output voltage and we have to just compare the practical and the theoretical values are one and the same okay and in order to fill the tabulation also for this bit positions you have to calculate the hexadecimal value also okay and you have to fill this table okay so finally you check the analog practical output and the theoretical output are the same okay that's all the experiment is over